This video tutorial will walk you through the grade book. For each course, you will have a grade book in Vantage. The student must have registered in Sage Vantage to appear in your grade book. So you'll notice that there's no students listed here. That's because there's nobody registered. But here I have 20 students registered. So if I click on the grade book, your list of students will appear on the left. And then each column here is, a, is an assigned activity meaning you have assigned this activity for the students to do. If you did not assign an activity, that assignment will not display as a column in the grade book. So once a student has fully completed an assignment for the first time, a grade value will display in that cell or a full completion um, icon will, will display. The display will depend on the setting choices you made for the assignment and whether the student's first attempt was completed before the due date. So. Um, this is for completion, and then this one is a grade. So this is for a grade. Um, if you see the line underneath this, this means that the student did this did not attempt this assignment. It's it's past the due date. It's it's over. Um, so students still can complete the um, assignment if they wanted to, but you would know underneath by by the red line underneath here that it's late. Also, if you have um, allowed for multiple attempts and you allow for um, late assignments, um, and you are integrated with a learning management system, meaning uh, Canvas, D2L, Moodle, and Blackboard, um, Vantage will only send the first attempt, even though you have best and maybe multiple attempts, Vantage, if it's late, will only send the first attempt. Now, you have uh, a gradebook tools, the Vantage Gradebook tools will allow you to find students by name, filter assignments to show only chapter tests, percentages or combinations, jump to the assignments in a specific chapter, edit student grades, and download your entire filtered gradebook. So I'm gonna walk you through all of that. Um, if you click on this little cog, this is how you can change from um, points and percentages. Uh, so if you're for completion, you can come here and just show points instead of the for completion indicator and hit save. And now it's going to change the same thing. If we click here and we just want to do uh, percentages and not points, we can save. And now we just have the points, the, the percentages and not the points. Um, but I'm going to go back and click the points so that you can just see that again, that you can also do both. Now, if we go to filter, we click here, and now we can do show all assignments, but we can also just limit it. We can just show the knowledge checks or video activities or critical thinking. And then also we can just show only assignments that are past due. And that's if you um, are not integrated inside of a learning management system, um, you can actually just show only the assignments that are past due and then download those. Um, we're just gonna exit out of here. So to download, you would just click on the download button and you have the choice. So if you didn't do any filtering, you can download the currently filtered, uh, what's filtered in the grade book. And that way you won't have anything. Here is the jump to chapters. You can go from one chapter to another. You can also search for a particular student here and it'll just pull up that one student. Um, and then this is where your download. Now you see this little circle. This means that this is integrated in your LMS. This, these particular students, they have clicked on a, a link in your learning management system to get to Vantage, so they have connected. This person did not, that's why there is no circle here. Also, the little circles next to your um, assignments, that means these assignments are integrated and those grades will flow to your gradebook in the learning management system. If you, as we scroll down, we will see that we don't have these circles here, so these um, assignments are not integrated. If you needed to push grades, you can actually push grades by the student or the assignment or the whole entire grade book. You can also edit your grades. So if I come in here and I click on edit, you can go click here and then actually edit a student. Are you sure you want to edit a grade? Once it's saved, it cannot be undone. So you can come in here and edit a grade. Um, and then once that happens, you'll see this little um, yellow under that. So I'm just going to come in here where there's nothing. 
input complete. I'll check that and see how it turned yellow. Um, and now I'm going to save my grades and I hit save. So you saw how this turned yellow. If you wanted to see a student and how they performed on an individual activity or, you know, if they've done multiple attempts, you can click on that student here. So you click on the student name in the list and then you can actually scroll down and see um, that this uh, student did chapter three test. They did video activity 3.1. They didn't do multiple attempts. So if you did see multiple attempts, you would see one, two, three. Like if you allowed three attempts or well, this one, my knowledge checks, we allowed unlimited. But as you as they attempted the students, it would rank it here one, two and three. And then you can go and look. Also, if you do want to allow for um, a uh, late assignment button here that says accept late assignments, you can click on that particular assignment that you want to accept late for that particular student. Um, and um, then you would have to push the grades. If you want to get back from the student view, you have to come back and click on gradebook. And you'll notice this little flag. So if you are an instructor that wants to grade all of the um, critical thinking or the short answer questions, um, you can come in here and um, this flag just says that uh, you or have to grade those. And we'll notice it by scrolling down and we're going to go look for the the um, activity that has the little flag by it. And it's the critical thing in check. Um, you see the little front flag there. You actually click on that flag. And then once it opens up here, you can expand all. And then you can give credit or no credit. So this one is not even a complete sentence. So I don't want to give credit to that one. Um, I'm going to scroll down and like this one, I'm going to expand. Um, so this one, it's a good paragraph. I read it. I'm going to give credit to that one. So that's just how easy it is to go ahead and um, give credit to your students. You just would read them and then give credit. Anytime you have gone to another page, you just go back to the gradebook area. Here's your legend. This is late for completion and then instructor modified. And you will see that here. So full completion, late, and then instructor modified. This concludes the tutorial for the gradebook. I hope you join me for another one. Thank you so much for joining us and have a good day.